very important way to distinguish different types of inventories to break it down into independent and dependent demand items. So usually there's something that we would consider the end finished product. Maybe you're a car manufacturer and your end finished product is a car. And of course there's lots of things that go into a car. There might be various major sub-assemblies. So a car is a little more complicated but maybe this is the chassis and this is the engine. And uh, each of those things in turn has many other things that it's made up of. Now the reason we call it independent demand is because the demand for this item is independent whereas all of the items that come from it are dependent upon the independent demands item. We might also call these dependent demand items derived demand items. Now they could be sub-assemblies, they could be raw materials, perhaps within our business we make one of these sub-assemblies but we buy in this sub-assembly. <laughs>